Fairy Godmother said only true love's kiss could break Fiona's curse. I don't trust that woman, Harold. This may be our last hope. Besides, he does come highly recommended by King Midas. But to put our daughter's life in the hands of this person? He's devious, he's deceitful, he's... he's... Rumpelstiltskin! Ah! Oh, Mrs. Highness. Uh, how, how do you do? <sighs> now, Vivi, get down! As you can see, everything's in order. So we all put an end to our daughter's curse? And in return, you sign the kingdom of far, far away over to me. Lillian, this is madness. What choice do we have, Harold? Fiona has been locked away in that tower far too long. It's not like she's uh, getting any younger. But to sign over our entire kingdom? Well, if your kingdom's worth more to you than your daughter... Uh... Nothing is worth more to us than our daughter. Jump, Vivi, jump! <laughs> oh. Just sign it, and all your problems will disappear. Uh. Your Highness, the princess, she's been saved! <gasps> huh? Who saved her? No one would have guessed that an ogre named Shrek, whose roar was feared throughout the land, would save the beautiful Princess Fiona. Mm. True love's kiss led to marriage and ogre babies. The kingdom of far, far away was finally at peace. Oh, goody for them! And they lived happily ever after! Ah, uh. uh, sir? You're gonna have to pay for that! Uh, uh, maybe we can make a deal for it, little boy? Oh, I'm not a real boy. Do you want to be? <laughs> Nobody needs your deals anymore, Grumple Stinky Pants! <clears throat> I wish that ogre was never born.